Certainly conquer it. This is the word of God. Before I pray, presiding officer, I just want to highlight three things from this verse. Where God raised Caleb to represent his kingdom. When everybody was shaking, when everybody was in fear, but Caleb stood up. And the Bible records that he silenced the people and said to them, let us go together. Let us go at once. Meaning, counselors, Caleb understood that the ideology might be different. Caleb understood her gender might not be the same, but the only common thing is let us go together because we represent people who want the promised land. We represent the people of God who are tired of ideologies, who are tired of political correctness. They only want the promised land. Now, let us go once. Let us go together, for we shall conquer. In conclusion, leadership does not begin with a title. But leadership, it begins when you put others first before you. It is not about you. It is all about those whom you represent. May good God bless you. I pray that the altar of love, unity, oneness, and togetherness keep burning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning that we can come together and declare and decree that we can only conquer if we are together, if there's, if there's a spirit of oneness. Father, I pray for this council sitting that Mudimwaka, may the power of the Holy Spirit take control. I pray that Mudimwaka, every decision, every resolution that will be taken in this council sitting, Mudimwaka, is kamatla amoyao halalela. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. <laughs> As indicated earlier, we are on item two. We have our magistrate here with us who is going to assist us with this item. Before we start, I am going to humbly request the leadership from political parties to go and request their members to stop singing because the singing is disturbing the, the sound in the, in, the, in the chamber. So I am going to humbly request that you, you request your constituencies to respect this proceeding. Uh, I am going to to give over to Director Mutingwe to assist us with the, the proceeding going forward. 
as I said, we are on item two, and as per our arrangement, he is going to assist the, the magistrate, um, and he will also explain to us how we are going to go about with this process. I am noting the name of Councillor. Yes, Councillor. Thank you. Thank you, presiding officer, and good morning to everyone. Uh, as the African National Congress presiding officer, just after the item two, we would want to raise certain things, much as we would want to see this council proceeding. But there are a number of issues that we would want to raise as the, as the caucus of the ANC. Uh, pertaining from the proceedings, from the last council meeting to that of Mafube up until today. We want to raise certain things. Thank you. Thank you for signing of this. Um, you are noted, Councillor Makefu, your request is noted. We will do that after, after the item. Um, Dr. Mutim, are you ready? Good morning, everyone. Thank you. And I hope I'm audible enough. We meet again at this higher level of the um, municipality, the district. Um, I will be quickly administering oath to all of you so that you can continue with your business um, unhindered. Um, just on the um, procedure, I have signed already the oath that you must sign. We will give them to you. And we will do this oath in batches of five so that we can save time. So I'm going to start this side and say the first five must stand up. And when they stand up, we'll give them the papers. Um, once the oath has been administered, they must write their names so that the administrators can take um, the documents back for filing. And uh, I've noticed that we all accept to the Christian oath. If anybody objects to the uh, Christian oath, please let me know. We will administer this thing differently uh, in terms of the affirmation. And just to check, um, does anyone object to the Christian oath on this side? Do you say? <laughs> okay. So you are speaking for everyone. Thank you. No. Thank you very much. So we will be doing this very quickly then. But I'll be failing in my duty if I don't inform you that this business of taking oath is one of the most important in the process of an administration. Um, oath is when you speak to yourself and make a promise to yourself and to the people that you'll be serving and most importantly to God. So um, I always do this when I uh, administer oath that please let us accept that this is not a joke. It's not just a formality. It's something that you must take seriously. Um, even worse, this is a district municipality 
um, your responsibilities are more than the local municipalities. Um, I can preach forever and ever, but I think you are adult enough to know that oath is serious. Thank you very much. We get to business now. Uh, can are you just help me, ma'am? I just give the first five the documents. Everyone must have this document. Before we start. I just need it. Whilst we're distributing the oath itself, I take it that we're all comfortable in English. Um, if you insist that we must assist you in another language, uh, we will struggle. But does anybody have an objection to taking oath in English? This side, no problem. This side, no problem. Thank you very much. We shall continue in English. Just to save time, you can somehow write your name there and your ID number. While you are still preparing yourself, Magistrate, I am going to request counselors and everybody in this room to please use the mask. Please observe uh, COVID-19 protocols. Please let us all wear our masks. And in terms of the protocol, the mask must cover both the nose and the mouth. Not only the mouth, but both the mouth and the nose. Um, and I am going to request the administrative um, team to regularly do rounds of sanitizing. Um, we cannot shy away from the fact that as a country, our numbers in COVID-19 are increasing. So as a municipality or as an institution, we have the responsibility to ensure that we keep the spread of this virus. Thank you. We are short with Hello? We are short with four, four um, oaths from this side. Um, we shall bring them um, as we get to Thank you. Um, I immediately start with this side. Can I ask the five councillors to stand up? <coughs> councillors, you're going to repeat the words after me. Um, but I'm going to say I, and then after I, then you mention your name and surname. And then you keep quiet, you listen to what I will be saying, and you'll be saying that after me. Right, let's go. I. No, no, you start with the word I and you mention your name and say them. Let's go. I. I swear that I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa. And will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution. 
and all other laws of the Republic of South Africa. And I solemnly promise to perform my functions and duties as councillor of Fezilet Dabit District Municipality to the best of my ability. If the oath is binding, kindly raise your right hand and say loudly, so help me God. Thank you. First councillors, congratulations. You are sworn in. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to sign, okay, so that we can collect the documents. We'll move on to the back. Five councillors, please stand up. We follow the same procedure. I say I, and you, for, you repeat after me, and after I, immediately you mention your name and surname. Let's go. I, I swear that I'll be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic of South Africa. And I solemnly promise to perform my functions and duties as councillor of Fezile Dabit District Municipality to the best of my ability. If this oath is binding on your conscience, kindly raise your right hands and say loudly, so help me God. So Councillors, congratulations, you are in. <laughs> then we move to the next five best side. <clears throat> Councillors, the drill is the same. I'm not going to repeat. Let's just shoot to business. We begin by saying, I, I, I swear that I'll be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, <laughs> respect, <laughs> and uphold the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic of South Africa. And I solemnly promise to perform my functions and duties as a councillor of Fezile Dabit District Municipality to the best of my ability. If this oath is binding on your conscience, kindly raise your right hands and loudly say, so help me God. Help you me God. are in, councillors. Congratulations. Um, I take it we can come to you now. The two of you. The drill is the same. Let's go. I, I did not hear the names and surnames. Let's go. I swear that I'll be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic of South Africa. And I solemnly promise to perform my functions and duties as a councillor of Fezile Dabit District Municipality to the best of my ability. If this oath is... Uh, Binding on your conscience, raise your right hands and say, so help me God. 
Thank you very much. Councillors, congratulations. Here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's how serious oath is you take on your jacket. <laughs> Thank you. The drill is the same. Um, I Swear so that I'll be faithful to the Republic of South Africa. And will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic of South Africa. And I solemnly promise to perform my functions and duties as a councillor of Fezile Dabi District Municipality to the best of my ability. If this oath is binding on your conscience, kindly raise your right hand and loudly say, so help me God. Congratulations, councillors, you are in. Thank you very much. You move on to the back desk. Five. <laughs> Councillors, the drill is the same. Um, I begin by saying I and you follow me after I, you mention your name and say name. Let's go. I... <laughs> swear that I'll be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic of South Africa. And I solemnly promise to perform my functions and duties as a councillor of Fezile Dabi District Municipality, to the best of my ability. If this oath is binding on your conscience, kindly raise your right hands and loudly say, so help me God. Congratulations, you are in the box. Thank you. We'll move to the next five. Oh. We, the process is the same. Let's go. <clears throat> I, I swear that I'll be faithful to the Republic of South Africa <laughs> and will obey, <laughs> respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic of South Africa. And I solemnly promise to perform my functions and duties as Councillor of Fezile Dabi District Municipality to the best of my ability. If this oath is binding on your conscience, kindly raise your right hands and loudly say, so help me God. So help me God. Thank you, councillors, you are in.
I believe that um, that uh, all the councillors have been properly sworn in. Um, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to do this honourable job. I wish you all the best. Thank you. <clears throat> In that day, that was easy. Um, we are on item three. I am going to request Mayor Sislavo to circulate the um, attendance register. Uh, while she does that, I am also going to, or while the the attendance register is circulating, councillors are requested to sign next to their names and after that the exciting part will be coming you will be getting your claim forms for this city <laughs> um, so you will also be expected <laughs> you'll also be expected to to fill the claim form and uh, submit it accordingly I was telling Mantua that yesterday I was in Mafube, I was attending the council meeting in Mafube and councillors Kasi Sutu Hutu Bampitel Leza Koning, Babu Zakat Limia, the last council meeting. So Kiro Humantua Mantua, Hakibatu Pitel Leza Koning Kajeno, make sure that all councillors get their claim forms. Councillors, we are on item three and I am going to read out the names of um, councillors. But before I do that, I do remember that Councillor Makefu, I um, allowed you to say a few words before we, we go to item item three. Councillor Makefu. Uh, thanks once more, uh, presiding officer. Uh, standing here, as per the request we, we, we did just before the second item, uh, that as the ANC would want to register certain points or some few points in this council. Uh, we, we are quite aware that uh, there has been a response by the IEC to Mafube municipality. I'm relating this matter to what has been happening since last week Friday. And it's our view that up to so far, even if after we have uh, solon in the councillors, that the process in Mafube, in our view, it, it was inconsistent with the law and fraudulent. We also wish to put the matter on record that uh, I, as, as I, when I grew up... Councillor, there's a point of order. Okay, I'm not away. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairperson. I can see none to you. Chairperson, thank you. Chairperson, I think for too long now, allowing the ANC councillors to engage in unnecessary things, I can assure you, the seat belongs to EFF and the other one to the ANC. We are not going to be reduced to the criminal elements of the ANC of wanting to steal our seat. And God and the ancestors of the revolution, they are exposing them harshly and giving them the punishment. So the ANC must accept now they must warm the opposition benches. The seat belongs to the EFF and it cannot change. And we must protect the integrity of the IEC as the competent body responsible for conducting of elections 
that are free and fair. And the elections are declared the ANC with a seat and EFF with a seat. We are not going to waste our time. We are sworn in today now here as councillors of Fezile Dabi District Municipality. And this council, Chairperson, can no longer be the same again. We are in charge. I thank you. Councillor Kau, I have noted you, but Councillor Makefu was still in, I mean, on the platform. Uh, procedural, procedural matter, you are going to give me the procedure. Councillor Motang raised on a point of order. I was hoping we would get what is that point of order. Because he did not raise that point of order. So I was hoping the chair will protect Councillor Makev. We are not saying the meeting is not continued. We don't want to argue in this meeting. We just want to register a statement to be on record. Then the meeting continues. Thank you, Thank you. I'm going to allow Councillor Makefu to register his, his point. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Presiding Officer. As I was saying, uh, in our view, we clearly the IEC uh, has taken a certain posture of ignoring the prescript on the law and furthermore decided to, to be biased. But nonetheless, uh, the African National Congress would, uh, in the interest of the community that has voted for us, uh, would take part in this council, would participate with an understanding that the voters out there, they had a clear mind as to why they voted for us. Uh, furthermore, presiding officer, uh, the matter as the ANC, we won't just look away from it. Uh, would take certain steps so that we 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 we, we, we are clear and uh, and satisfied with the matter as the ANC. We'll be pursue we'll be pursuing uh, liquidations. We'll be taking certain steps, legally so, against the IEC. We are not... We are not uh, Councillor Makefu, I am now going to be the one who is calling you to order. No, uh, uh, we're speaking to... to, no, to the, not this council. I, I am still sharing this meeting. Can you please sit down? Councillor, Councillor Mutawun, please lower your hand. Please lower your hand. Councillor Makefu... Uh, my honorable councillor, uh, the issues that you are talking about has nothing to do with Fezile Dabi. And I am going to respectfully request you that we do not enter that space. The local municipality that is aggrieved by the outcome of this process will follow that process. So for the sake of all councillors in this meeting, can we, can we can continue with the business of the day because what you are registering is irrelevant for this municipality. I am going to respectfully request that we continue with our agenda. We are on item three. As I was saying, the councillors are still signing their, their attendance register and I am going to read out the names of councillors so that we, we know our councillors. I am going to start with the councillors that are directly elected in Fezile Dabi. The first councillor is Councillor Mochela Mutlanepule Johanna. She is from the ANC. The house saw her, ne? Thank you. Welcome, councillor. We have Councillor Hadebe Anna Mudutula. She is also from the ANC. Uh, councillors, hey, I'm going to request not to say 
other names because um, like mine, they can be tongue twisting. Uh, I know my name, my Soto name or my, my first name is a tongue twister. So sometimes it's not safe for other people to call it. I would rather stick to the ones that I can read. And counselors, please don't take it as me being I mean, um, disrespecting you. Counselor Masipeng Nomakubu Emma. She's also from the ANC. Counselor Green Maria Mangaka. She's also from the ANC. Councillor Mukodu Tontabi St. Patricia. She's also from the ANC. Councillor Mudikwe Puleng Maseporo Maka. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> She's also from the ANC. Councillor Matwa Simpson Morena. He's from the DA. Councillor Kasudi Dennis, he's from the DA. <laughs> Councillor Scott Frederick, he's from the DA. <laughs> Councillor Mualusi Leri Lesejo, he's from the EFF. <laughs> Councillor Makana, Makanda Muiteri Lucy, <laughs> she's from the EFF. <laughs> Councillor Khatebe Mamukiti Anna. She's from the EFF. <laughs> Councillor Malhebe George Stephanus. He is from the FFP. <laughs> Councillor Swetang Dina Tandiwe. <laughs> She's from the ANC. <laughs> Councillor Makefi Lebuhang Andris. <laughs> He's from ANC. Councillor Mahema Jonas Mweketi is from the DA. Councillor Mufuken Tabi Soheri is from the DA. Councillor Ntapu Lefa Lawrence is from the EFF. Councillor Mutawun TBC April. From our oh, April. Oh, okay. Who to not want to deliver the log in Oh, he's from the EFF. Councillor Mahashule Isaac Malebu. He's from the ANC. Councillor Kuma Lokau Jacob. He's from the ANC. Councillor Sefako Mantule LC. She's from the ANC. Councillor Moseme Selwani Lydia. She's from the EFF. Councillor Serfontaine Katarina. She's from the DA. By the way, I lost my I lost the track. I should have mentioned the councillors from Metima, Holu, and Wate. We are now starting the councillors from Mokaka local municipality. Councillor Tau Ramasimo Daniel is from the ANC. Councillor Kotle Mamudie Ebri is from the ANC. Um, Councillor Ramola Mweketi John. Um, he's from the ANC and Councillor Sipi Putaway from the DA. Uh, Councillor Miller Nick is from the DA. Um, Councillor Hasudi Dennis. Is it? Oh, about Pitile. What you don't know, Councillor Kasujikuri, they even said they are from EFF. <laughs> that, that is administrative uh, error, and we apologize for that. 
Okay, councillors, can we continue? Councillor Toketi Ebiel. Uh, he's from the ANC, and Councillor Toketi is from Mokaka. I mean, Mafube. And the last name is Councillor Gumede Walter. He's from, he's from the EFF. That councillors is the full composition of this council of Fezilebadi District Municipality. Uh, I note two hands. Uh, Councillor Lebo. Um, Lefa. Councillor Lefa. Councillor Mutawung. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, MA. I know you are doing your job. You know my name. Councillor Sarapela from EFF. Councillor Sarapela from Mokaka. I think that is where the confusion is. Uh, Councillor, the full name is? Kekoponte Maskentate. Gibeto Sarapela. My apologies, Councillor um, Serapel. I am I am very sorry, Councillor Ipre. Uh, MMO apologies accepted. Uh, I think we accept all the names you have read loud to us as councillors of Fezilebadi, and further say there's a missing party from Mokaka. And the name of that party is Pau. I want to put it on record that the ANC also stole a seat of Pau. Thank you. Councillor, Councillor Mutawu, Councillor Mutawu, you're doing exactly what I, I requested Councillor Makethi not to do. You're doing that, please. I'm not allowing him. I didn't know what he was going to say, and that is why immediately when he's done, I am reprimanding him. Councillor Makethi. Thanks, Presiding Officer. On behalf of the African National Congress, Presiding Officer, I would like to, to ask for a request for a caucus vote before we proceed with the following items. Thank you very much. 10, 15 minutes for focus. Councillor Mutawum, please stop it. Um, the time is 11 o'clock. I am going to allow the ANC caucus of 15 minutes. But before I um, allow the ANC to, to go to the caucus, I am going to release our magistrate. On behalf of Fezile Dadi District Municipal Sintate, we are thankful for the services that you provided in this council. Uh, we really appreciate your time. We really appreciate your patience. We know the last council you came here and you could not perform your duties, but you you humbled yourself and you were here today. And for that, as a municipality, we are grateful. You are released in that day. Thank you very much.